There are two reasons why you need great cardigans this spring. The first one, the weather is getting warmer. You're gonna be trading your bigger coats for lighter weight cardigans. Which leads me into reason number two. One of the places you can show off your style is through your outerwear. And if we're ditching our big coats because it's getting warmer, then the same thing would apply to the cardigans you're wearing now. And so I've compiled a list of the five cardigans that you're gonna wanna have this spring. I'm gonna talk about how to style them. But if you're new, I'm Jules. I do videos all on shopping and style because I I like to find really great pieces and I like to break down trends and make everything super easy. So please make sure to subscribe and click the bell. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this month and I have just a couple weeks left. So I'd really appreciate your help. And now let's get started. Okay, this first cardigan, I've been seeing kind of everywhere, but it's like not really talked about, but it's still like trendy and like really in the spring. It is this V-neck button up cardigan. Now there are a couple points on this cardigan that make it really trendy and really working for 2020. And so one one of those is these buttons. You can see on this one that has three large buttons and there's a little bit of contrast with those buttons, right? You can see the buttons from kind of far away. You know, having three or four buttons I think is really important to this cardigan because how you're gonna see it worn most of the time, you're actually gonna see those buttons buttoned up and the cardigan actually like French tucked in. This way of wearing a cardigan is super trendy right now. Don't wear anything underneath. Or if you do, you don't want it to peek really outside of the V-neck. You want it to look like you're wearing this as a top. So the second cardigan that you're gonna want this spring is a long, lightweight cardigan. Now I actually have a couple to show you. I don't really have a specific actual one that you want, but I'm gonna give you some examples. So I actually bought this one last year from Red Dress, so I'll see if they still have it. Otherwise, I'll find a similar one. All of these cardigans will be linked down below in the description box if you wanna check them out. But what I love about this one specifically is that it is very easy to dress up and dress down. It really can cross over from like casual, like super casual lying around the house to nicer wear it to work kind of thing. But this way it almost acts like just kind of like a warm coat that you're walking around in. I hesitate to call this a coatigan, the coat cardigan, the coatigan, just because I don't think it's quite thick enough, but it is definitely a heftier, thicker material. So you could stretch and call this a coatigan. The other one I wanted to show you is this one I'm actually wearing. It is from Loft and I got it recently, so I should be able to still link it down below for you. And so the reason I really love this one is the fabric. It is super lightweight, like super, super lightweight, which is great for spring. And it has like this slight ribbing texture, which just adds some visual interest. I really love how these dark buttons contrast against the lighter cardigan. I personally wouldn't call this a cardigan just because it is really, really lightweight, but it's really not gonna add a whole lot of warmth. So for cardigan number three, we have the cocoon cardigan. I don't think I'd call this exactly like a cocoon cardigan, but I don't have an exactly cocoon cardigan, but it's really close. So basically it kind of goes around you. It's almost like a wrap. It kind of is longer in the back and shorter in the front and the sleeves are a little bit like looser. These ones are a chunkier sleeve. It doesn't have to be a chunky sweater. In fact, I think of the cocoon cardigan as the spring version of a chunky cardigan. The real great thing about cocoon cardigans is that because you can kind of wrap it around yourself, you can wear it a lot of different ways. You could wear it off the shoulder, off one shoulder. You could really cuddle up if it's a cooler spring day or if it's a warmer spring day, kind of let it hang around your elbows. There's so many different ways you can wear a cocoon cardigan. It's definitely gonna give you that laid back kind of cool girl vibe, but you will be able to layer it up or down depending on what kind of like weather you have because we all have different spring weather. Okay, so this cardigan probably has a better name, but in my notes, I could never figure out what the actual name of this cardigan was. So I always just put quotes, proper cardigan. <laughs> this is what I mean by a proper cardigan is like your very traditional, almost like straight lace cardigan. I actually have two different ones to show you that are just pretty much identical. And now you're probably like, wow, that's a really boring pick. And no, it's actually how you style it and wear it that makes it super trendy for spring. And the way you style it and wear it, as I have hinted, just by how I presented it to you, is completely buttoned up. And it's like the first one, like you are going to wear this completely buttoned as a shirt. You know, you could leave the first two like unbuttoned. But I think this is one of those styles that we've really like steered away from. If you ever like button it up over a blouse or something, it suddenly feels very matronly. I mean that in the most respectful way possible. But a more updated, trendier version for this cardigan is to just wear it as a shirt. And again, nothing underneath, unless you really need it because A, you're cold, or B, you're really worried about one of these buttons popping. And then you can take this and, you know, French tuck it into your like mom jeans or straight leg jeans or even skinny jeans, depending on the rise and cut. Most people have some version of this cardigan already sitting in their wardrobe, so you don't have to go out and buy something that's super trendy. You're just taking something 
you already have and may have forgotten about and you're just freshing it up for spring. So we're now on to cardigan number five and this trend is something that I always see pop up every single year and it's color blocking. Because color blocking is just like another way of saying like big stripes or color. I had to add a color block cardigan into this but I picked this one because I think this encapsulates a color blocked spring cardigan perfectly. The lights and the pinks and then we have a little bit of a brownish pink down here but I think this is just the perfect, let's see if we, how can we do this? You can now see all the colors. If you pair this with some light wash jeans which are going to be your go-to jeans for the entire, I was about to say month of spring, entire season of spring. Oh, uh, words are hard today. This is going to go really well with all of your light wash denim and your white jeans. Any kind of like white spring dress you have, this is gonna add a little bit of extra color. But this one is from Amazon. And in my experience, colors like this on Amazon sell out so fast. So I'm gonna have it linked down below. Hopefully it doesn't sell out too soon. Like by the time you watch this, hopefully it hasn't sold out yet. Okay, now I gotta be honest with you. If you like this video, you are going to love next week's video. So make sure to subscribe, click the bell, like this video, comment down below. Use that little share button. If you click share and then do one of those options, YouTube really likes that. So if you really wanna help support me, I would really love the help. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this month so I can start at least somewhat supporting this huge investment that I've done in my channel. So thank you so much again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Like seriously, it's amazing. Bye.